Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Taurus. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Taurus with a clear and concise message from you. All right, so Taurus, we got the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Swords. We got the Seven of Swords clarifying the whole reading from a different deck. And then we have the Seven of Swords coming out again from another deck. All right, so we got the Seven of Swords twice. Um, okay, so it looks like there's some rocky relationship, rocky situation. It's been up and down. Um, it's just been a, a battle here in, in terms of dealing with this person. You may have taken a break or you've taken a break from this person. Um, there could be an element of separation. Someone is wanting to come back. Like they really want to come back. They want to visit you. They want to come in your home or be in your home or something of that nature. There's an energy where somebody wants to come back. Um, <clears throat> with this coming, the cards say, give it one last try. Um, the cards say, yeah, be, go into it with good intentions, uh, motivation, throw your hat in the ring, do something together, maybe even travel, move in, I don't know, do something. Um, allow this energy to, um, allow things to work naturally or work together um, or to just uh, unfold naturally uh, because the outcome is the Three of Swords. It's going to end in maybe not so well. Okay. The cards want you to go ahead and give this one last try because you want to do that anyway. That is your energy anyway. You want to see if this could work again or if it could, it could work at all. But very soon you're going to see the full manifestation of this relationship of this situation you're going to see it collapse because at this point somebody can't be what you want them to be they can't be who you need them to be they can't show up in the capacity that you want them to show up in um what's on the table for you is disappointment um destruction failure it's something that you have to go through maybe even this is a lesson or yeah, a karmic lesson. This is a cycle that needs to close. I tell you that because you have the nine of wands, and then the ace of wands. That's the ten of wands. You have the three of swords, and then the seven of swords. That's the ten of swords. So you have two tens on the board. Two of the worst tens. The eight, the ten of wands and the ten of swords. This is the fullness of of this manifestation. The well, this is the full manifestation of this connection, of this job, of this relationship, of this situation with your family, I don't know. It can get no worse and it's definitely not going to get any better. But you need to go through this so you can see it, you can feel it for yourself, and so that you can learn. Because the Ten of Wands is a lot of times about cycle, karmic cycle, um, lesson. You need to learn some lesson here. Because right now you just do, you, you and this person, if you get back together, it'll just be doing something. You're just going to be doing something. No end game, no end goal, no plan. And we know, we know the saying, um, um, what is it? it uh, if you fail to plan, um, you, what is it? You fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Okay? So no plan equals failure. Okay, and you're going to see that with this person. The cards want you really to be focused on you, your money, cultivating a better environment for yourself. Um, you could be a working mother. If you're not, you're just really working on nurturing yourself, having a better home life, um, better health, all of that stuff. Um, this person sees you as home. It's like you offer some, some element of um, shelter. Now, it could be physical shelter or it could just be shelter from maybe this person just, you know, running around and ripping around and having several different people. 
it looks like this person is running from something else to come to you with not so good intentions or their intentions are not made known or they're not transparent there's some ulterior motive here um this person is trying to get away with something like run away from one connection to run to another this person feels like they failed you or failure was about whatever you guys had it was something failed and um now they may be kind of ego driven in terms of maybe getting you back or having you back If it's not ego, it's definitely um, question this person's motivation. Why now? What are they doing? What do they want? Because you know that this relationship has been turbulent, has been rocky. This person also could be running from a connection, a relationship, a marriage or something, I don't know, and trying to run to you. But it's something that you have to go through. You have no major arcana um, from two decks. So it's definitely your energy is something you need to do, something that you need to go through. So Taurus, this is your reading. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Go over to the website, book your own reading there, and take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you. Take care.